Elon Musk has now officially confirmed that the Model 2, the affordable electric car that many of us have been waiting for during the past four years, will finally be revealed this November. Even more interesting is the fact that Tesla already started building these cars back in June. They even have working prototypes ready for the big launch, but Musk has said that full-scale production will begin later this year. At the moment though, the main subject that everyone is debating is the final look of the car, especially after Elon Musk himself confirmed the design during the earnings call. We already know that some people are going to really like the design while others might not but Tesla had to make some important decisions in order to hit the $15,990 price target, at least for the most basic version. So, what will this car actually look like in reality? Will it turn out to be impressive, disappointing, or perhaps missing something? Could this be the vehicle that finally changes Tesla's history forever? Everything Musk has shared about the Model 2 gives us a lot of hints. So let us dive into this new Tesla right now. Before we go any further, welcome to Amp Drive, your space for everything about Tesla, future technology, and breakthroughs that shape our world. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe right now and turn on notifications. It really helps the channel grow and lets you stay up to date with all the exciting updates we share. We have just crossed 1000 subscribers, and I want to thank each of you for supporting this journey. So, what exactly is Tesla's cheaper vehicle? This is the big discussion following the most recent confirmation from Elon Musk. At this stage, we almost need to accept the reality that this so-called budget-friendly model will not really be the completely new design that fans have been calling the Model 2 for so long. It will not be a small hatchback or an entirely fresh design language for Tesla's lineup. Instead, Musk's confirmation during the earnings call basically made it clear that it is going to be a variation of the Model Y. In his own words, he said, it is just a Model Y. Put in simple terms, the Model 2 will most likely be a stripped-down Model Y, smaller in size, built with more basic materials and features. You can think of it as a compact Model Y. After Elon Musk's announcement, reactions from the Tesla community have been split into two clear groups. One group is shocked and frustrated, as they had been expecting a fresh design with a bold new look, not a scaled-down version of the Model Y. They wanted a real leap forward, not just a slightly smaller version of something they already know. But on the other hand, another large group of people are thrilled and optimistic, especially those who have always admired the Model Y but could never afford one. For this group, the Model 2 feels like the perfect chance to finally own a Tesla at a price within their reach while still enjoying the design and many of the core strengths of the Model Y. The Model 2 will be revealed at Tesla's shareholder event, which is the company's most important annual event. It is one of the most highly anticipated reveals in years. Looking at Tesla's past product roadmap, it is easy to see a pattern. Almost every year, Tesla drops a product that shakes the entire market. This November, the Model 2 is expected to be the highlight, especially since this year has otherwise been slower for Tesla. Even though it is technically being launched as a new model, it is now pretty clear that the Model 2 is not something completely brand new. In fact, it shares not only exterior design features but also many other elements with the Model Y. Now, this could be a clever move from Tesla. The strategy seems to target Chinese competitors, especially BYD. When compared with the cheaper Chinese electric cars, the Model 2 still stands out thanks to Tesla's engineering and software. And you know what? Even if the Model 2 does not fully match the Model Y or Model 3 in terms of experience, the demand for it is already sky-high. Musk himself admitted that he cannot even estimate the real size of the demand because it is so massive. To speed up production and keep costs under control, Tesla's fastest path forward is clearly to make the car look similar to the Model Y but with lots of simplified details. Have you ever wondered why Elon Musk finally chose to bring the Model 2 this year? It is not only because customers were demanding it. The real reason is that Tesla needs a breakthrough at this point. By 2025, the electric vehicle race between Tesla and BYD has reached a critical stage. It is impossible to ignore that Elon Musk is now under more pressure than ever before. 
BYD is rolling out electric cars at extremely competitive prices, some as low as $13,000. And yes, sales numbers show that BYD actually passed Tesla during the first two quarters of 2025. That was a major warning sign. Without a breakthrough product priced more competitively, Tesla risks losing even more ground. That is why launching the Model 2 at $15,990 is seen as a bold counterattack. Honestly, this move shocked many of us, especially because Tesla had long promised the Model 2 at $25,000. But the truth is that $25,000 is simply not cheap enough anymore. That figure is still too high for millions of buyers and is not competitive against what BYD is offering. But $15,990 changes everything. It is such a low figure that people immediately started questioning quality, cost-cutting, and whether Tesla can still make a profit. To hit this price, Tesla had to make major compromises, stripping away features that many of us normally associate with a Tesla. Musk already admitted that the Model 2 has been heavily simplified inside and out, and that may disappoint some buyers who expect the premium feel of Tesla's other models. But prototypes already spotted in California reveal what these changes look like. Tesla redesigned the front with higher headlights and removed the premium-looking light bar usually found on the more expensive models. Instead of the refined look of the Model Y, the Model 2's face is more basic. While this is clearly cost-saving, it still gives the car a unique identity compared to Tesla's other models. A front bumper camera is also present, confirming Musk's earlier hints that the car will still carry Tesla's full self-driving hardware. It makes sense. Removing this hardware would save only a small amount of money, but by keeping it, Tesla ensures that the Model 2 can still join the robo-taxi network in the future. The debate about whether the Model 2 will be two-door or four-door has been going on for months. While Falcon wing doors or butterfly-style openings look great on expensive models, they make no sense on a $15,000 vehicle because they are complex and costly to repair. So most likely, the Model 2 will have regular four doors, just like the Model Y. However, this budget car will not have the same soundproofing quality or comfort. Another noticeable downgrade is that the Model 2 will not have Tesla's famous panoramic glass roof. Instead, it will come with a normal roof painted the same color as the body. This makes the cabin feel more closed in, which might be disappointing to people who love the open airy feel in Tesla's other cars. The rear of the car has also been simplified. The elegant light bar on the Model Y has been removed and replaced with a simple painted panel. Again, this is a cost-cutting step, and while it does not look as stylish, it is practical. Inside the Model 2, cost-saving decisions are everywhere. Instead of vegan leather, it will most likely come with fabric seats, which are harder to clean and feel less premium. The glass will be single-layer, meaning less sound insulation. Lighting will be basic, with only single-color ambient options. Even the audio system will be simplified with fewer speakers, making music and media sound less impressive. For people who want the premium Tesla experience, the Model Y or Model 3 will still be the better choice. But Musk is also preparing something truly groundbreaking with this car. Tesla is working on a new type of battery that could completely change the industry, aluminum ion. For years, Tesla has used lithium-based batteries like LFP, NCA, and NMC. While they all have advantages, lithium prices have been unstable and often far too expensive. Aluminum, on the other hand, is much more common and cheaper. So, what makes aluminum ion batteries so special? Unlike lithium ions, which carry a single positive charge, aluminum ions carry three positive charges. That means they can move more electrons and allow faster, more efficient energy transfer. Early prototypes suggest aluminum ion batteries could reach 500 watt hours per kilogram, double the energy density of today's lithium batteries. In practice, this means Tesla could store more energy in a smaller, lighter pack, making the Model 2 efficient without needing a huge battery. Leaks suggest that the Model 2 will have a battery pack of around 53 kilowatt hours. Thanks to aluminum ions efficiency, that is enough for at least 300 miles of driving range. 
the long-range version will go even further. And here is the game changer, these batteries are cheaper. Estimates show a 53 kilowatt hour aluminum ion battery could cost around $3,100, compared to over $5,000 for an LFP pack of the same size. That is a $2,000 saving per vehicle. When you multiply that across millions of cars, Tesla saves billions. Aluminum is also more abundant. It makes up over 8% of the Earth's crust, while lithium is only a tiny fraction of that. This means aluminum is hundreds of times more available, far cheaper, and supported by a stronger supply chain. That stability is what Tesla needs to scale production for the Model 2. So with a car priced at $15,990, equipped with breakthrough aluminum ion batteries, and simplified but still functional Tesla design, the Model 2 could be the car that makes electric driving accessible to millions more people. Would you consider buying the Tesla Model 2 if it really comes at this price? Would you pick the standard range or pay extra for the long-range version? Share your thoughts in the comments. And do not forget, subscribe to Amp Drive right now so you never miss the latest deep dives into Tesla's future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.